All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Wednesday. <laughs> and as you can tell, I am sick, right? It's Wednesday, my dudes. <laughs> they're fucking, they're fucking mine, though. Uh, but yeah, I am sick. You guys have been through enough to know that I get sick fairly often. I really do. Uh, that uh, I get sick, then I get better, then I get sick, then I get better. So, um... Uh, I definitely apologize if I am inconveniencing you guys by being sick. I definitely apologize, but, uh, uh, I'm, I'm gonna still, I'm gonna power through, I'm power through. So today we are playing Mr. Gladiator Beast, uh, still in the Demise Room, because I definitely think the Vise is very strong, uh, that has some pretty good plays, and, you know, I like to control the duel. And, uh, we are gonna be talking about two, part two of the regional, so we're actually gonna be talking about the actual regional. Last time we just talked about the experience, now we're gonna talk about the regional, so, uh, I went with Cosmo Demise, and with by Cosmo Demise, I mean, remember last time I went and I went with Cosmo Geddon? You guys might remember that, that I went with, uh, with a Cosmo Geddon deck? Okay, so you're just gonna summon Trick Clown and attack me? Then I will probably play Wabaku, so I can tag out. Wabaku is so strong in this deck, like, like, if you're not playing Wabaku, then I don't even know what you're doing. Yeah. The only thing that sucks is that I kinda kind of took out, um, Armelio, so it's kind of a rip on that, I was, like, I was like, I really don't need him, like, he, he was just a dead draw, but now, like, I would kind of like him, so, so we'll just go ahead and tag out, I guess we'll tag out into Laquari, I mean, there's really other, no other monster I could, could really tag out into, that'd be worth it, hopefully he doesn't have, like, a Regeki or something, wow, so, you're pretty much just asking to be hit with a, uh, with a good good, a Gazarus. Sorry, my mind is just, it's just all fluttery. Like, I feel like shit. But I'm gonna get through this, I'm gonna get through this, so. Top, top. Might do a rank 8 play, main phase 2. Pinpoint guard, yep. So go ahead and pay a thousand, summon that back, that's fine. I don't know, I don't know, it depends. It's like I really have nothing else to tag out into. So, it might be nice to go ahead and summon those two Augustus, but whether I want to make the rank 8 play or not, it's kind of eh, because then I won't have my Gladiator Beast to tag out back into, you know? So, I'll tag out. And really, just give me two strong beaters. Like, Augustus is pretty good. Like, if I was ever ran, I'd ever play that, I'd throw in two. I'd throw in two in the deck. See, because I, I could go into rank 8 plays, go into this, and go into that, and go into this, so. Uh, I'm not sure if he's playing any spell cards. So I think I might just want to leave it like that. The only problem is if I get hit with like a Regeki, then I'm rip. But if I tag and tag out and then pop some, some more shit in main phase two, then it's all good. So I think I'll leave it alone. Do that card demise, so you know that's powerful. But no, I went with Cosmo Geddon demise. So, uh, wow. Wow, that sucks. Yeah, that's fine. I was hoping that that warning in that van needs to be able to protect me. Now, oh wow. Wow, now he's got the soul charge too. Oh, well. Oh, there goes everything that I held near and dear. <laughs> this man can easily go into a scar right, like Soul Charge. Soul Charge, dude, we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about this fucking piece of shit card. Um, so yeah, I went with uh, with Kind of Getting Demise, and it on paper it looked pretty fine. You know, first I was just gonna go with Cosmo Demise. I had you know a lot of the group let me borrow shit, and I, I was worried that shit would hit the fan. And God, this shit hit the fan. So thank God for Card Demise, right? In Christ, I can draw three. <laughs> and now I would love Mermelio. Like, that, that's the rip thing right now. You know, I'm probably going to put Mermelio back. I was like, I was like, I don't need him. And it's like, now it's like, kind of need him. So I can tap this and then tag out the Mermelio and pop this. And then I got my two quaking, so that's that's pretty nice. So, I mean, I can't special summon anyway, but I might as well just go ahead and kill the monster, right? If I can, I'll select Spreader. So quaking is nice. Quaking, I think. I think Wabaku and Quaking are gonna be a one in this deck. Cause Quaking could just set your monster down and then make a good and pop you while you're set. So you can just draw a special summon attack monster in the field, but I'm not special summoned. So you're just gonna attack me. You're gonna run into this Quaking, and then I'm gonna survive for another turn. They say, if anything, I can attack you while you're set and then tag out. Like I, I really need Mamelio. 
Camellia would be fantastic right now. Or because I'm sorry. Chariot. Alright. Yeah, yeah. If I could attack and then attack out to Mermelio. Rip. And then both my Augustuses are gone, so it's not like I can tag out into something strong enough to get over the sky, right? Really, I just got nothing to do. I need. I, need, I really need Pistari. I mean, we run triple Pistari and triple uh, uh, my searcher card, so. There's really no reason to flip this up. No reason to do anything with Sky Right. He could just sit down. And I'm pretty much in control of the duel. I mean, I got blown back, but I'm still, you know, okay. So. I'm gonna attack this set card. So I could tag out, but tag on the. Oh, wow. Watch for one. Well, and I have the quest, so I can't tag out into the quest. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, you know what? I'm thinking I'm gonna work cherry at that. Because I can always grab it back after I tag out into something else. And then tag back into the quest. So I don't... Did I count? Okay, that counted. I must say, that count as me? I don't think so. We're gonna tag out. I guess we'll go ahead and go to Darius, because Darius can summon back my, uh... My, uh, Augustus. And that's just a beater, so... And since you can't be flipped up, at least I don't have to worry about you doing anything. Like, no, I'm in control of this stuff. So, uh, I said the deck profile will go up on Friday. But so you'll be getting deck profiles all this week. All this week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and my deck profile on Friday. Uh, but let me get into that tournament port. So starting right off, of course you enter the tournament. Uh, Deckless. Deckless was pretty decent, you know. Uh, the hotel had a computer that you can use. So I was able... Wow. Wow. <laughs> all right. Yep, so you can go ahead and use your broke ass gospel of revival, and there is fucking nothing I can do about that. Gospel's so broken, like, I don't even know why they made this card. Like, straight up, I don't even know why they made this card. It's like, yeah, give dragons fucking more shit. Like, awesome, thank you. Good thing I have another quaking, so I can just sit his ass down again. So, you know, like, sink six or something? Like, Quaking is just gonna be so good against this man. The problem is, is that he can protect with uh, Gospel, so Romelio popping while he's set would be the best, because then it's technically not a dragon, because it's not flipped up. Wow, he's gonna go into fucking Zeta too? So, what does Zeta do? Once per turn, you answer turn, you try one special monster your opponent controls, you to face a protection, banish both that monster and this card field, return back during your next standby phase. I'll take it. Wow. So, uh, the deck list, I pretty much had it all typed up. I was, uh, by the time it was uh, time to go, I was fairly sure, like I said, the deck profile you'll be getting Friday, but uh, there was one card that I wasn't absolutely sure that I was going to get, and that was the, the Barbaroid. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get my hands on it. Once per turn, during push turn, you can target my special monster, banish both sides, and this, and then summon back during your next step, my phase. Okay. Um... Book of Moon is nice. Like, I might. Ah, that's the problem. Then I need Bastari. Ah, I need Bastari. So I could Book of Moon the Zeta, then activate the Call of the Haunted. Call of the Haunted, summon the Augustus. Augustus attack over the, the Zeta. Zeta tag out into... I mean, the Augustus. I mean, kill the, the Zeta. Augustus tag out into a quest. The quest get me back on War Chariot, and then he won't be able to War he won't be able to with the Scar right, because then he'll get War Chariot, and that would be even worse for him, so. Go ahead and book him in. Go ahead and activate Call of the Haunted. Go ahead and summon Gus. And we will attack. Tag out into a quest. A quest will grab me back on War Chariot. Yep, yep, yep. Seems like I'm still in control of this duel, that despite him getting lucky at times, it seems like I keep on, you know, finding a way to stay in control and staying in control in this fucking duel is great and you know what the funny thing is if he attacks me if he attacks me i have the quaking so i can sit your ass down again like really i'm just sitting waiting for a fucking pastari like holy shit like this duel would be so much easier if i had Mermelo. but why why did i take him out i was like i don't need him i can just keep on going to gazaras and pop i don't need Mermelio. i need Mermelio. like oh right i forgot he has fucking uh fucking gospel broke ass gospel so he could just protect himself from destruction. Yep. Yep. Gospel's totally fair. Totally fair card, people. Totally fair card. 
Nah, you can sit down. <laughs> it's like, it's like, really? Why would you give dragons? I have all fucking shit. Like, I think gospel should probably be limited. Oh, cool. So, uh, I can just summon. I can just go into uh, a place now. Cool. Because ours again. Like, I'm still in control of this duel. I'm starting to run out of resources, but so is he. So, once I get rid of this, uh, it has to be two. Once I get rid of this, uh, the scar right. He's gonna be in some deep doo doo. <laughs> so I just attack. And the other thing is, if he attacks me again, I could just play Wawaku and then attack out and go back into another Bastari. Like I am completely in control of this duel. So of course we want a quest, and we want Darius. Darius. What's in Darius? So of course let's get a quest. Go ahead and grab me back that War Chariot and Darius. Me back to that Augustus. And look at that, look at that. I am I'm in control. So there was one card that I wasn't sure I was gonna get, and that was Barbaroid, so I left it blank. Uh in the end I couldn't get me a Barbaroid, so I ended up putting in Cyber and Dragon. You're probably wondering why, because I was playing Nova and Infinity. So I was thinking, alright, and we're going to Nova, and you're probably maybe possibly if you're dumb, you're gonna stop it before I go into the Infinity, and you're gonna get hit with a Cyber End Dragon, so rip, you know. Uh spoiler alert, I actually pull off that play in the duel, so awesome. Uh, but overall, the deck was pretty good. Like I said, deck profile coming up, but it had 11 monsters, 10 spells, and 19 fucking trap people, like, all in the back row. And I actually had a playset of Silent Strikes now, so, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. He said, I might get back into real life Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, he said, you don't get new, uh, live videos from me often, but maybe I'll be more willing to do them. I said, I'm not going to put them on my schedule. Even when the channel changes coming up, I'm not going to be like, hey, you get live videos on this day. Because then I would have to be committed to it. Right? Go ahead and scoop. That was a pretty good duel, despite, you know, Broken Ass Soul Charge and Broken Ass Gospel. And, you know, I controlled the duel very well. Them, them uh, Darude Sandstorm Mirror Forces are so good. They are. All right, we'll do another duel, Bear. All right, another duel. So, <clears throat> Demise, I mean, it's a stupid card, you go hella plus, it's just like, because you're playing a particular way in a particular deck, therefore you get to draw three cards, like, the card's not fair, it really isn't, and it probably should have been limited, but Konami didn't, so it's like, fuck it, you know, I think it's a great way to actually play Cosmos while this hand is ass dog, but this is the problem with drawing this, is I, I, I put it at two, so I wouldn't draw it, just, I'm still ended up drawing it, so, I think I just set shit to my back row and, Praying that he doesn't have two twin twisters, because if he has two twin twisters, then rip me. You know, this, this is probably one of the axest hands I've got with this deck so far. <laughs> like, this is a regular guy here, Beast, and not fucking Augustus, and maybe we can talk, but it is, so rip on that. So, I might have to go Augustus to summon that Augustus if I ever get to tag out into it. That'd be pretty good. Just attack Augustus, summon the Augustus, and then I would have to go main phase two and make a, uh, a, uh, ew, an eccentric. Oh, one, there goes one of my back rows. What, you're gonna pop your own card? Say, what? Wow, Metaphil's combination. Like, you're really that thirsty for the for the pop? Like, okay, I guess. Really that thirsty for search? I thought you were gonna, like, pop my shit. I mean, my shit seems like it's more threatening than your shit. Of course, of course. You gotta throw frogs in everything, people. Like, literally, Metaphil's are, are turning into just anything that's broken, dot that. You throw Infinity in there, you throw Ultimae in there, you throw, you're gonna throw Tree Toad in there. Like, it's, it's about to be bad. It's about to be bad, motherfucker, so. I already know. Think about maybe flipping over the vanities on his ass, because this, this, is, this is about to be disgusting. Like, wow. I kind of want to get him with a, with a Mass Pendulum Summon. Alright, so he's gonna pop the other one, set the cards, and all that. Like, like pendulum dot deck, like the, the pendulum mechanic is so strong, so strong, and so broken that you literally just throw Apex Avion, Cyber Dragon Infinity, Ultimate Tazoken, you know, anything that's remotely good, and you got a broken ass deck because you can do so many fucking things. You, know? and you can go ahead and pendulum summon that and that and just those two. Yeah, I'm wanting that. That's better than uh, you know letting you keep it. Please let me draw a glad. Duality. Well, I can play duality. I can't tack out now. So. Wow, I don't want none of that. I guess I'll take the Twin Twisters, because at least I can Twin Twisters pop his shit and then uh, revive my uh, my shit. <sighs> the big problem with it right now is I'm pop his Pendulum Scales. Like, his back row is probably not a threat. 
probably just meta foe shit. Like, I think there's a counter back there. I don't know what the other one is, but probably just more meta foe shit. Oh, right, I forgot about counter. So what does counter do? Oh, some more medical sponsor from your deck. Okay, that's fine. Like, I'd rather just crank your scales. Then next turn, I guess I'll go ahead and activate Call the Haunted, Summon Augustus, and then flip vanities on you so you don't go into fucking Tree Toad. Next turn, because that's probably what you want to do is we go into Tree Toad, so. Call the Haunted, Summon Augustus. Hopefully you don't have anything. <laughs> Alright, so counter will get you one of your things in the extra deck back to your hand, right? So you can then potentially set up your Pendulum Scales again. Like, this deck is so good. Like, Metaphos. I don't even know what you hit in Metaphos. That's the thing. Like, what do you hit? Because everybody does everything. So it's like, what do you really hit? Because it, it's literally an engine fueled by other engines. So. Uh, throwing fucking Magic Spectres, like I said. Throwing everything that's good. Magic Spectres for the Keening, the Infinity, the, the Ultimaya, the, the, the fucking Treat Toad. Like, just literally throwing everything that's good in fucking Yu-Gi-Oh. And you got yourself a fantastic top tier deck. Okay. I don't want you to end them summon. I have the Stronger Monster, so I'll just sit and then I'll just start killing your shit. Well, I'll come back into the fucking the story. That's nice, but not doing anything for right now. Said so Bunkaboo is probably the biggest threat. Especially if he gets like a tornado or something, if he's playing it. Like this duel's about to go extremely slow. So I know he has the frog in his hand. I'm trying to I'm trying to stay and control this duel, but the pendulum mechanic is just so fucking strong that's gonna be difficult to pull this off indefinitely. So you have the you have the swap frog, so you can't go into tree toe play. Wow, wow, top deck into a fucking cannon. Alright, alright. Wow. 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 Nice top deck. Wow, that fucked me. That completely fucked me. Wow, nice top deck. That's exactly what he needed. Like, exactly what he needed to handle that situation. Uh, yeah, he might have it. Summon Bastari, set the War Chariot. That's really all I can do. I'm running out of resources and plays now. I'm hoping I could lock him out of the door and keep control, but. A fucking cannon, though. Like, who the fuck plays cannon? This guy. Number generator decided to go ahead and give it to him, too. No. Like, I can't have you doing Tree Toad, man. Like, Tree Toad, Keating. Infinity, Ultimae, like it's it's just, just just too broken. It's too broken. Apex, Avion, all that good shit. How are you gonna fuse from your hand, huh? Now this might be game because you can go ahead and put your metaphor shit back, target this card, spin it, put it back in my hand, then Pendulum Summon and kill me. So, so hoping that this Druid Sandstorm would have been great to you know when he overextends Pendulum Summon, then I hit him with everything. But nope, 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 nope. Wow. I can do that. And I already know that who's playing the fucking Klee engine. Like, the deck is too strong. That's why I fucking, uh, definitely side decks. I'm, uh, um, god damn it. Them fucking, uh, anti spell. Anti spell. Oh, that's game. That's game. GG. Not really. I mean, he top decked and then he pendulum mechanic is just too strong. It really is. A slow deck can't compare it to his fucking good and good at everything deck. <laughs> like I don't even know what you call it. I guess you'd, it would literally just be pendulum dot deck with thrown in with clusterfuck shit. Like, rip, rip. Uh, uh, that was a terrible duel. If I could have hit him with that Darude sandstorm, oh my god, that would have been good. Just set everything. All right, we'll get another duel. Very bad. All right, another duel. So let me let me let me, let me get at least through half. So. Uh, you know, you pay for your entry fee, twenty dollars. You get five packs, and in my five pack, I actually pulled a pot of desires. Yep, yep, I actually pulled a pot of desires. So, uh, there went all my luck, and you and you will see. There went all my fucking luck. 
Um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and set the, well, Darius can't take on the Darius, right? So, I'm actually just gonna set the Darius and set the call to haunted, and that's it. You killed the Darius, that's fine, because I can go ahead and Twin Twister. So you know what, maybe it'd be best to not set anything. Because uh, I can Twin Twister, but I pop your back row, then I can go Proving Grounds, or Call the Hunted, or whatever. I can go Call the Hunted, actually. So yeah. So if you don't pop the Call the Hunted, I can go Call the Hunted. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> not another freaking good-ass Pendulum deck. This actors are really good, so... I might be fucked. <laughs> like, they all... Like, the Pendulum mechanic and they float, like... We're gonna see right here that the Pendulum mechanic is just way too fucking strong. It's way too fucking strong. Like, I... I, I can't think of what Konami's gonna do after the Pendulum mechanic. It's fucking like Yu-Gi-Oh's turning into a piece of shit because of the Pendulum mechanic. It's just broken. It literally is. Like, it has nothing to fucking do with, uh, with what type of Pendulum mechanic it is. And look at the fucking ban list. Like, every single time there's a fucking ban list, we have to put a flut ton, a flut ton, that's a flut and a, a fuck ton of cards on the fucking ban list because of the Pendulum mechanic. Like, even, even remotely decent fucking Pendulum decks are getting fucking too strong. Like, look at that. He popped his own shit and he fucking gets a search. Like, you didn't learn from fucking, uh, uh, Plush Fire and fucking Arabian Day. Like, so retarded. So retarded. I don't even know why I'm doing, doing this duel. I might as well just scoop it up and get a different duel. Now I'm about to get the shit kicked out of me. And his fucking, uh, shit. Well, I guess I like Protects Magician Polar Pals at Odd Eyes, but he's really just using it to get searches and enable his plays, so. I don't know. I don't know. This is going to be a difficult duel, to say the least. So, if anything, kill my Darius and maybe get some damage. I can just call the Hunter, summon back Darius, some, set the Bastari and go into Gazarus and pop his shit. Not pop his back row, of course. Never pop his back row because his fucking back row is like, oh, well, if you pop my shit while it's set, and then, like, all this shit floats. All this shit floats. A pendulum mechanic that shit that floats. I'm like, oh my god, kill me now. So I pulled the Desires and I was like, well, there goes my luck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was hoping that, uh, uh, we're gonna play Odd Eyes too. Get the search. Like, fucking Pendulum Mechanic is just so goddamn broken. I'm just gonna say that. Pendulum. Pendulum Mechanic. Pendulum Mechanic. Mechanic? Ma. Yeah, it's Mechanic, like that, right? It's just so broken. Like, probably the Pendulum Mechanic is like the worst fucking shit that ever had popped up in a Yu Gi Oh! I hate it. I hate it still. After even after years of dealing with it and having it, I still hate it. Still fucking hate it. All right. So, like I said, of course, all his shit floats. So, it really doesn't matter what I do, right? So, I guess I'll go ahead and pop. Do you do something? I think it's like when you're when you're summoned or something. Well, I gotta pop you. This card destroys the You can target one of this active spell in your graveyard and set it, but you don't have any, so. Then what do you do? Because, like I said, they all float or do something. Uh. What's the summon? Blah, 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 extra killers. No, it doesn't look like you float. That's decent. So. Pop you, and I'll pop your pension scale. Then I can tag. Tag out into 2 Augustus, and then go into, like, Hope or something. I think that might be best, or maybe it not be best. Just maybe not. It won't be best to tag out at all. I don't know. Cause the thing is, he has a fucking odd ice fusion, so I don't want to leave two monsters on the field. Definitely don't want to do that. That would, that would be terrible. So let me actually get into the tournament report. Like I said, we're gonna do half now and half Friday deck default on Friday, and then this will probably be the last duel. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and summon uh, two Augustus, and then. Yeah, I play. Yeah, it's not in my, in my graveyard anymore. So we'll go into Hope. At least Hope can negate one of his Pendulum Scales or something. And go yum 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 delicio. So can't do my War Chariot though. That's the only thing that's kind of like rip. So I think that's a fine play, but it's shit. Yeah, you know? I only have one more so you can't always fusion me. You still got all your shit in the extra day. You still could probably set up your pendulum scales and kick the shit out of me. Like, this still not nearly close to over. Maybe if I can prevent him from making his pendulum scales, there might be something. Maybe. So, what do you do? Pendulum scale. Let me go. Like, look at this. It's like a fucking Bible on these fucking cards. 
This card is destroyed by battle, or in this card, all his monsters that only is destroyed by upon this card. In fact, you can set one. So, we have to set directly. That's fine. So, when you set up your pendulum scales, I just now go ahead and eat you up, eat up one of your pendulum scales, and hope and pray that you don't have anything else. That's pretty much all I can do. Okay, what does this do? Target face up cards on the field, so I'm supposed to definitely destroy them. So, I pretty much have to stop that. I think I have to eat that, and which means that I won't be able to stop his pendulum summon. He could probably kick the shit out of me. I got Twin Twister, so I can possibly Twin Twister his shit. What are you doing? You can trip this card, place one to a while from your deck to pendulum zone. Alright. Please, if I could just stop him from fucking overextending. Probably gonna push the White Chariot because I can always grab it back. And if he goes in that, and then I'll have two monsters, and then attack, I'll tag out into a quest after pitching my War Chariot attack out, and then go to that kind So, round one. Uh, I must, I'm going to warn you right now, a little bit of spoiler alert. I did not face the same deck in any rounds once. So, do you do some kind of effect? I don't think so. Can I, like, respond when you set your pendulum scale? I would love to respond when you set your pendulum scale. No, no, no. Apparently, I can't. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, fucking Depro. Wow. Wow. Uh, I guess he's gonna take it slow anyway, but kind of wanted to, you know, respond to the pendulum skill setting. So what do you do? You have two or more, you have two or more base upgrades in your pendulum zone. You can choose this card for someone one level eight or lower pendulum monster in your hand or light. Or face up in your extra deck. I don't want you to summon that. I kind of wanted, like I said, I wanted to twin twister at you after you set up your pendulum scales, but that part, I mean, why'd you put in like me? So, so hopefully that's all you got, that you're going to end your turn, and I'm going to keep my hope, because keeping my hope to another turn would be fantastic. Of course, you can go Sky Iris, pop, get a search, and then fucking, uh, and then that'll go. So get a search, and that goes off. Like, so dumb. So dumb. Such enabling plays. So, I, I didn't duel the same deck, not once, not fucking once. I, he already punched him summoned, so that's good. That's good. So, starting off with round one, I faced Magic Specters. Magic Specters, and this guy was not too great. He really wasn't, like, I 2 0 him easy. Um, you know, I thought I was going to be the one doing the demise plays, the back row plays, and one-upping him, but he really didn't do much. Like, in game one, I just kind of crushed him. He had some back row, but I just kept on slipping, and popping, and, you know, you can't target my big ships, so I'll rip on that, and he was just having a hard time, you know? Um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and summon Poke. If I can summon two monsters, uh, go into a quest, get back my War Chariot, because I'm assuming that he's probably gonna go ahead and try to hit me with a, uh, with a, uh, with a, uh, fucking, what's its name? A, uh, Vortex Dragon, so I can just War Chariot that. So I'm, I'm low on resources, but I'm keeping control of the duel, so that's decently good. So I'm going to quest, quest grab me back that War Chariot, and set that. Really nothing to do with a, with a, uh, Proving Grounds. And now, now next turn, as the quest arrives and stuff like that, then hell yeah, you know, I can do it. But he still has five cards in his fucking hand, like, this duel is going to be a son of a bitch. <laughs> Go ahead and play your Odd Eyes Fusion, summon your Vortex, you know, Vortex if I can't go War Chariot, and try to set up your Pendulum Scales, I'll eat one of them, like... <sighs> I said, if he, if, he can, if he can get around this, if he can get through my plays for this turn, then he might have it, because I'm running out of resources. <laughs> Where's my Darude Sandstorm? That might be great. Alright, so... Let's go to some today, well, I'm almost returned, you can set one. This is my perfect. Let's pretend you contribute one best after, then target one best script in your graveyard, add it to your hand. Ew. That's not the greatest of things so I want you to do. Because uh, you can go ahead and unset your... Where's your graveyard? Where'd your graveyard go? Like, okay. That's fine. Wow, all the odd eyes. 
I guess maybe his shit got shuffled back. Oh no, I ate it. I ate it. I was like, where'd that other card go? It's like, he doesn't have it because I ate it. Uh huh. So like you probably won't survive another turn if you take it passively. Even if you set some background, you can't play Solemn Strike or Solemn Warning, so. Huh. Alright. So he's gonna set up those pendulum scales. Uh, does he have any pendulum based monsters that are lower level? He has you. He has. Can't summon you, so I can just summon you. Anything else? Two of you. I think that's okay. You can summon twos and threes. It almost seems as two, so I can summon two twos. May I have a rank two play? I'm not sure. I don't know. I'll, I'll let that go. We might switch up the play. Because if he goes into like a rank two, Pendulum summons two, and goes into a rank two play, like the fucking guy who attacks and bounces, I can War Chariot that. And then if in main phase two, he can Odd Eye Fusion, I can eat that. So. So, Metric, the guy was nothing. I popped with Slip, and he couldn't target me with his torna uh, his Tornadoes, his, my big ships, you know, Dark Daddy and all that. So, it was pretty much just Rip, you know? Doesn't look like he's gonna do anything. Like, it looks like this might be it, because I can just search for Proving Ground, go for something, uh, I mean, get Bistari, Geyser's Pop Pop, Tack Tack, Tack, you know, Tack Tack game. So, I think I might actually beat this Pendulum based deck, which is pretty good, pretty good. Hey, when you control the duel, you can you can do the impossible unless your opponent fucking top decks a fucking guy to pop your fucking plays, like last duel. So I two on him, it was easy. Uh, maybe uh, game two, like I put in the twin twisters, uh, I twin twisted his back row, I tagged down to slip, I cosmo his back row, tagged down to slip, pop more back row, like it was it was bad, like it was it was an easy fucking duel, I must say. So uh, starting off pretty well, you know, X, you know, XL one one one, uh, game two. I faced, uh, Ratch 2, I faced that Herald deck, that Herald deck, I don't know why people call it Cyber Angels, you literally won one fucking Cyber Angel, like, it's just, it's just Ben 10, that's it, so they're like, oh yeah, that's Cyber Angels, like, no, that's Herald, that's Herald, Herald is a big focus of the deck, you know, it's just one Cyber Angel, that's literally like calling my fucking deck because I run two, triple twin twister, twin twister dot deck, like, no, it doesn't work like that, you know, hopefully these guys don't float. If they float, I'm gonna War Chariot. Yeah, I'm gonna War Chariot. I mean, it's not like I can't grab it back with fucking like, if I tag out into, uh, into, uh, a quest anyway, so. So, you don't float, you don't do anything, and then just attack for game. GG. That was a, that was a difficult duel. That was a difficult duel. Same control of a pendulum based stack. So, let me go ahead and finish up and we'll call this episode of the duels. Yeah, so, game one, he went, I lost the dice roll. Like, I only won one dice roll the entire day, so. Rip on that. So I lost the dice roll against the Magic Specter guy, and he, he didn't have too much. And the game too, so dumb. Like he set up his fucking Magic Specters, the Magic Specter guy. Going back to that, he set up his Magic Specter monsters to the Pendulum Scale, but then Pendulum summoned nothing. So they just kind of sat there. I was like, I'm not popping your scales. And, you know, you just went neg with your hand. You know, set up your Pendulum Scales, just neg on your hand. He set the back row, but you had no Magic Specter monsters tribute. So I just poked the shit out of him and twin twisted him clear up all his back row. Like I think it was Magic Specter Trap Tricks. I want to say so. Yeah. And it's like, oh, I summoned Dark Destroyer, and then he hit me with, uh, what's the trap hole if I, if I summon a level 5 or higher monster, then he pops it and then banishes it or something? It's like, okay, I guess, so that didn't really phase me. Uh, Harold, that deck, he won the dice roll, he went first. He dropped a fucking Harold, he dropped a fucking Fairy Cheer Girl, he dropped a fucking, um, a, uh, what's it called? A, uh, a, uh, Ouroboros. With the uh, stick chair combo, uh, and then it's a feature to the fairy chair girl and drew cards. And it was bad. It was bad. Like he he had me locked down. He destroyed me. Like scoop it up. Go to game uh, game two. Right game two. I go first. I won up the shit out of him. You know, uh, you'll see my deck. But I actually played a uh, quarantine. And of course it's uh, Cosmo again, so I went on again, nice and quarantine, and then I revived the quarantine, and then he was like that special summoning monsters, and that was great. And game three, he went first, and I was praying to God that he didn't open up well. He opened up like shit. He set one card, it was just a twin twister. I opened up fairly well, set it in my back row, when you know, card demise, and I just won up the shit of him. And then when it finally he got into the duel, uh, I flipped up that vanities on his uh, ritual summon of Harold, and he just scooped. So uh, overall, great, you know, great. I got lucky uh, that he then opened up fantastically in game three. I would have lost because it literally came down to a dice roll. Uh, so now I'm still XL 2 and 0. All right, game three, I face my first blue eyes, my first blue eyes, my only blue eyes, really. Um, and it did not go so well. It really did not. Uh, I went, I went first. I got 
pretty set up pretty well but and i was one up in his plays but uh similar to the first duel of this video he happened to have soul charge so he got to summon everything back go into infinity go into crystal mask go you know and i was like wow screw you know because fucking soul charge is so fucking broken like the card is disgustingly broken it's like like i stop all your plays and then you pay five points to summon all the monsters back and go hella plus like yeah the card's fair konami totally fair uh, game two, I win. I one up him. I lock him out of playing Yu-Gi-Oh, and he just straight up loses. Uh, and then game three, um, I don't open up that well. Um, he, I'm pretty much sitting on one Dark Destroyer. Uh, he's getting all his blue eyes. He has like a hundred div. He of course can't target me. He has blue eyes in hand. He like top decks. He draws into a uh, trade in, and he uh, gets stone. Gets back his another alternative special summon some alternative trade in the blue eyes. You know get. Um, uh, Dragon Shrine, Dragon Shrine, summon back the Spirit, banish my back row, and he just crushed me. It was bad. It was bad. Like, he got lucky, I didn't, and I didn't get any of my back row. I just was sitting there in one Dark Shrine, couldn't do shit, so that was game. So, uh, that was my first loss, so I lost one, too, so I'm um, X1. Uh, then, match four, I happen to face, you probably won't believe this, I face Galaxy Eyes. Yes, Galaxy Eyes. See, I go to the deck, you know, Galaxy Eyes, and it's like, what the fuck, I shouldn't lose to that. I did. And you want to know why I fucking lost to this? Uh, of course I lost the dice roll, like I said, I only won one dice roll. Um, he let me go first. Uh, I got my play set up, but I didn't really open up with like any like back row back to stop him. I didn't open up with my cast trap holes, I didn't open up with my sound strikes. Uh, I stopped all his plays, right? And then guess what? Can you guess? Soul Charge? Yes. So he went to Infinity, he went to Soul Charge, he went up me. Fucking Soul Charge is so broken, I hate that fucking card, right? I wish it was banned. Um, so he won that. Game 2. Uh, I choose to go first. The, the duel pretty much is the exact same as game one, except I opened up with a strike. So, once again, same exact plays. Did he get soul charge? Yes, he did. Opening hand, soul charge again, so that's two times in a row. Statistically improbable, right? But he still gets it, you know? Like I said, the, my luck was so bad that you probably get suspicious of my opponent's cheating. So, he gets soul charge again. He literally does the same exact play, same exact, except when he went to the infinity, I had the solemn strike, and then I went from there, so I won. Game three, uh, he goes first. Um... He foolishes his odd eyes, he summons his galaxy, uh, wizard, and then plays soul charge, and then soul charge. Of course, he, he opened up soul charge, all three duels, awesome, right? He goes into, you know, his, um, his dark matter, sends a monster, makes me send, banish the monster, sends some blue, some of, you know, some of his white stones, his fucking, uh, art brave, his fucking fail grand, all that shit, right? Uh, and then he just pretty much starts picking up my resources. I top deck into Drowning Mirror Force when he, uh, by the time the end of the duel, when he had two Dark Matter Dragons, right? Nothing in his hand. I mean, one card in his hand, two Dark Matter Dragons. I top deck into Drowning Mirror Force. That's a Drowning Mirror Prince. And I'm like, hey, man, if I can hit this, this Drowning Mirror Force, I'll be able to come back into this duel. He draws top decks into Twin Twister. Twin Twister is my fucking Drowning Attack for game. So I lose. Awesome. Because he gets lucky and opens up Soul Charge all three duels and then top decks to Soul Charge when it was the perfect card to blow him out of the water. Uh, just a little spoiler, I don't get to blow anybody out with Drowning Mirror Force, and I just played three of them all day, all day, so. Now I'm X2, and, uh, if I get one more loss, I won't get my invite, so, uh, you know, I'm sitting on the bubble, I had to pretty much win it for uh, the next four rounds to get my invite, so. Do I get my invite? What happens? Uh, you will find out, like I said, on Friday, I'll give you guys the second half, because it was only eight rounds, and, uh, then at 2.30 you guys will get the deck profile. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels. I will see you guys tomorrow tagging and playing Zephra. I said I'm still sick, but wish me good health, and I will try to get as much rest as I can outside of schoolwork and working on YouTube. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.